Breakfast with Brennan and Cheryl. <laughs> 20 episodes in, and, and now you're going to start us off. Good morning, good morning. It is episode number 20 with Breakfast with Ben and Cheryl. Uh, this week we're talking about networking. Networking! How which was not my favorite subject in the beginning. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I hope that you guys are doing fantastic on this Tuesday morning. We're yes. very excited to be here. This week has already started rocking and rolling. Um, and like I said, we're going to be covering network today. And Cheryl, you want to go ahead and yes. start us off with our weekly quote? The richest people in the world build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Robert Kiyosaki. Yes. Uh, rich dad, poor dad. Rich dad, poor dad. That's kind of a, a <laughs> staple. Yeah, professional development staple. Yeah. Um, networking. Yeah. I mean, you you always hear networking. It's your net worth. That's yes. another very common quote. Your um, network is your net worth. Absolutely. Yeah. And that is a hard concept to understand until you get it. And once you start networking and you see the power of networking and building relationships. Game changer. Now, I think the one thing before we we get into kind of our our, our different ways How to, to get started. Yeah, um, networking is not a uh, get rich quick scheme. It is not a lose ten pounds overnight kind of deal. <laughs> it's something that takes time and it takes work. It does. And you've got to build. You've got to build on those relationships. What did you learn early? What did we learn early on? It's not net sitting. It's not net eating. It's net working. <laughs> that's a that's a famous B and I quote. But yes, yes that's, 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 it's, it's so true because um, you kind of see when you go into events, the ones that go right for the food and they're just yeah. eating with their friends, and then the ones that are moving and shaking. Yes. Now, okay, that's great. You guys have been networking for a while. You know how to do it. I'm I'm new. I, I'm scared. I don't want to go do that. Yeah, so it's terrifying. I'm an introvert. I don't mm-hmm. want to go. So I was a net sitter. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it takes it takes finding that that comfort within yourself, and then it makes it so much easier. Yes. To go and talk. Go sit with another net sitter. <laughs> <laughs> that well, works. I mean, that's kind of how like Cheryl would just be like talking to one lady. Yes. And then her husband would come over, mm-hmm. and then his friend would come over. And by the time, like, 30 minutes in, she's got half the room over there just, like, chit-chatting. Yes. And it's a casual it's... conversation. And I'm just like, where did everybody go? <laughs> but um, I found that knowing what I'm going to say, practicing that kind of elevator pitch and just mm. practicing saying your name, what you do, what your company does. what. But I think the most important part of networking is... While it's important to practice that stuff, you do not need to be the one that's just me, 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 me. Yes. It's all about asking the questions, and that's what helps me get through the networking. I don't like talking about myself, so I start to clam up, and I get all weird and handsy, and just, not, I don't know what to handsy do. handsy there, but... <laughs> um, but if I learn to ask questions and ask them questions, and I'm, I'm interested in learning about their life and everything... That helps me communicate and get to know people on their level instead of divulging so much about myself. Well, and that's I think that's a very good key thing you just hit on because if I say, Cheryl, tell me about yourself. Um. <laughs> that's that, and that's what we kind of naturally feel. Mm-hmm. Well, how did you get started as a photographer? Oh, I got started as a photographer way early on. I was into cars. <laughs> Well, so you I know, shot my, cars and stuff. My son's thinking about a photographer. Would you recommend that he goes to a school, or should he just start doing it on his own? I feel like he should just start doing it on his own. Just pick up a camera and start learning. That's how I did it. You know, and look how easy that was. But that's the that's <laughs> the thing. It's it's really tough to go in there and, and talk about yourself. Mm-hmm. But if you go in there and you can just ask questions, mm-hmm. just keep asking questions about them. They'll keep talking, yep. and they'll give you everything you want to hear. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, and I mean it's. It's that's the way it. You have to show people you care. Yes. And you have to if you walk in and just start slinging business cards. Yep. Nobody's gonna know who you are. They don't know anything about you, and he they don't know anything about you. So there's no connection there. There's no sense of uh, 
sense of value or relationship there to what what value are you bringing into my life right because ultimately at the end of the day you need to find people that bring value yes. to your life Most and bring and, and that's where your network comes in mm-hmm. is bringing that value yeah. whether that's a professional network so that you're able to refer services to uh, you know someone else or perhaps building that network for your clients um, so that you can go ahead and refer them well I don't take care of that but you need to talk to yes being a connector not a collector. That's absolutely right. <laughs> no one wants to be sitting on a fat stack of business cards if they're not doing anything. Right. What's the value in that stack of business cards if there's no relationship behind them? No. <laughs> and they don't know who you are when they look at the business card. There's no I see nothing his picture on there, but Yeah. I don't know. What it is. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> so, networking. It has become the foundation of our business. And as uh, entrepreneurs, small business owners, where you don't have a lot of startup capital, you don't have, there's zero room in the budget for marketing, even when you do marketing. <laughs> um, but the power and the, the return on investment in networking is just astounding. And a lot of people think that it's really hard to get into and or that it's, a lot of misconceptions is that like it's a pyramid scheme kind of feel like oh you got to sell my business to get this business and oh i got to do this yep. and good to do this so how have... many of yours do i need to sell before you refer one of mine right and oh. it's oh. like most of those business networking groups don't work that way it's about educating and building the relationships with other business owners and managers in the area and the community yeah and that's how it's helped our business we got to know the bank managers, uh, car service leaders, owners, nonprofit uh, organizers and leaders, okay, yeah, city leaders and organizers. Yeah, like yeah. that's I mean, amazing stuff. And we would never have those opportunities had we not become involved in networking groups. And we did become involved in BNI, Business Networking International, in the beginning. And that is an investment. However, it is. It, their motto is "givers gain," and not so I would promote BNI or anything. But it helped us learn the fundamentals of networking and showed us the importance. Yeah, got us in in touch with the people, key people that helped us grow our business, and that we got to learn from, become you know mentors with, and um, and it's helped us get involved in other organizations. Now we're involved with Pensacola Young Professionals, thinking about Rotary Chamber, like all these different things. But now. 